Last May, Indian astronomers captured a stunning rare display of northern lights dancing across Ladakh's night skies. This was triggered by the most intense solar storm in the last 20 years. A year later, using those observations from the Indian Astronomical Observatory in Hanle, Ladakh, alongside data from NASA and the European Space Agency, they have successfully traced the paths of these powerful solar eruptions. This is just one of the many science breakthroughs emerging from Ladakh. With its high altitude and one of the darkest skies in India, the region has long provided vital data for Indian astronomers. The 22-kilometer area around the remote village of Hanle now hosts India's first dark sky reserve. It's fascinating how this cold, barren, rugged terrain, so stark and remote, almost like the surface of Mars, has become India's most crucial site for astronomical research. From the country's first analog space mission to now its largest solar telescope, Ladakh, once seen as inhospitable, is fast emerging as launch pad for India's big scientific dreams. The National Solar Telescope, to be set up near Pangong Lake in Merak, Ladakh, has been years in the making. The two-meter ground-based telescope set at 4,200 meters above the sea level will observe the sun in optical and near-infrared light, offering scientists a powerful tool to study the sun and its complex behavior. It will also be the largest in Asia, and scientists have carefully selected the site. Now, I spoke to Dr. Jayanth Joshi, project scientist from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, Bengaluru, and explained that Ladakh offers one of the best sky conditions for astrophysicists in India. The weather is mostly clear, the altitude is high, the rainfall is scarce, and it's practically a cold desert, which makes it an ideal site for ground-based telescopes. Globally, the best astronomical observatories are built in high-altitude mountain ranges with minimal light pollution, like in Hawaii or Chile. That is because the ground-based telescopes have to deal with atmospheric turbulence, where heat in the air creates wavy patterns which can blur what we see. But once you position the telescope at such altitude near Pangong Lake, it helps reduce that distortion, as water tends to keep the surrounding air more stable. Now, the project is in an advanced stage and currently awaiting financial approval. Now, next is the Indian Space Research Organization. At over 300 meters above the sea level, Ladakh has just 40% of the sea level oxygen, allowing realistic testing of real life support systems in the low pressure, low oxygen conditions, similar to Mars. Last year, a private space firm in collaboration with Indian Space Research Organization set up the country's first analog space mission in Leh, Ladakh to support India's ambitious human spaceflight program. Now, analog space facilities are essentially field tests designed on Earth that mimic extreme space environments, allowing scientists to test designs, materials, train crews and conduct scientific experiments in realistic conditions. Now, Professor Alok Kumar from Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru, tells us that any spacefaring nation aiming for the moon on Mar Mars must train its astronauts in these extreme Earth-based environments. Now, with India targeting a Bharatiya Antrik station by 2035 and a moon landing by 2040, setting up multiple analog research base in India is definitely essential. Now, Ladakh, with its dry, sub-zero temperatures, low precipitation, rocky terrain, permafrost and high-altitude desert is an ideal testbed that closely mimics Martian and lunar landscapes. Now, Ladakh also hosts MACE, the largest imaging Cherenkov telescope in Asia and the highest of its kind in the world, located around 4,300 meters above the sea level. Now, this was indigenously built by Baba Atomic Research Center to study very high-energy gamma rays from space and inaugurated last October. Clearly, with its unique geography and climate, the high-altitude Ladakh has now become an ideal year-round field lab for geologists, geographers, astronomers and space researchers from across India.